Fighting. Hello. Hello, everyone. Escucho un niño por ahí. Hi, teacher. Vive en el niño. ¿Quién tiene un niño yeah. por ahí? I hear so, a, a kid over there. Like, ta, 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 ta. ta. Yeah, yeah, yeah. My, it, it's my niece. It's my niece. Oh, my niece. okay. <laughs> yeah, 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 okay. yeah. I thought it was Lorena. Maybe I thought maybe Lorena has a child over there. Uh -huh. <laughs> I know. I know. No. Have. Nah. My son has 22 and my daughter is 24. Oh, you don't have any grandchild yet? Grandchild? No grandchild? Nieto? No. No, not yet? No. 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 <laughs> oh, what about you, Walter? Do you have any grandchild? I'm not grandmother. <laughs> oh, you're not a grandmother yet. Oh, okay. No, okay. not yet. Not yet. Okay. Okay. No, that's yeah, fine. <laughs> my son. My son is. Uh... Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Good. Okay. So welcome, <laughs> welcome everyone. Welcome Carlos Jose. Welcome Stephanie Arias. Welcome Lorena. Welcome Walter Ramos. Believe it or not, we made it to the last day today. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Um, we made it to the last day today. Yes, believe it or not, today is the last day of this course. I feel like it was yesterday, the, the time when we started. Do you remember? Mm -hmm. But um, so I want to say thank you. So vamos a esperar un momento so your classmates uh, can join us. Okay, can join us to the class. Okay, so ¿cómo estuvo su día? Tell me, how was your day? Okay, my day was a little sad because my pet Maya is in the hospital. Oh. At the hospital, and she's sick, and she oh. was telling us everything. She oh, was oh, sorry about that. Because I don't know, they say they have a. She has a infection, mm -hmm. a very, a very infection. Mm -hmm. very infection and then she has to be today at the hospital and tomorrow I don't know maybe if she continue but she's going mm -hmm. to be there for more days oh do you take it to the Chivo pet hospital no no, 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 no. oh a private hospital a private veterinary mm -hmm. and I have to, to, to do something fast ah okay 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 good so how are you Joanna mm -hmm. Hello, teacher. Hello. Hello, everybody. Good. Uh, hi, good. My day good. Thank you. Oh, okay. Nice. 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 Uh, is it very okay. hot where you live now? It's very hot. Mm -hmm. Yeah, teacher. No? Yeah. Oh. It's okay. so hot today. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, you know, like yeah, Sammy. Yeah. Well, well, uh, mm -hmm. uh, mm -hmm. Tell me. I hate, I hate that weather teacher because um i felt uh my pleasure blood blood pressure down i don't know why oh when your blood pressure so hot. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. yeah it's it's down oh okay yeah maybe because i don't know but, but maybe because um uh, because of the weather right probably it's because of the weather yeah mm -hmm. yeah mm, okay yeah. okay you know, San Miguel, uh, which is the place where I work in San Miguel every day, is very, very hot. Mm -hmm. And yeah. even here in Morazan, because I commute, I commute from Morazan to, to San Miguel. Uh, and Sa Morazan is a little bit, um, right now, it's a little bit hot. But when you go to San Miguel, it's hotter. San Miguel, it's hotter than Morazan. Yeah. Mm hmm you have to bring but but in san miguel and your work i suppose you are i work a, in some, mm -hmm. air condition, uh, air yes condition yes like definitely yeah, yeah that, uh, well you know like when you come to san miguel, have you ever been to san miguel mm -hmm. yes yes yeah 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 you come to san miguel I, and it's I like know metro centro i know metro centro mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. yeah yeah, yeah, of course. Like in my office, um, uh, with my colleagues at the university, we have uh, we have air conditioner. But the thing is, like we we are used to the air conditioner. When you when we come when we go outside, the 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 the, the faculty teachers, it's very hot. <laughs> okay, so good, good, yes. I am from San Miguel. 
Oh, you are from San Miguel. But, oh. but Santa Rosa de Lima is more hot than oh, well, San Miguel. Yes. La Unión, la Unión, no, no, no la Unión de Department, but la Unión, la Unión, it's hotter than San Miguel. It's hotter, very, yes. very hot. Mm -hmm. Yes, and you're right, Maria Correa. Eh, la Unión is hotter than San Miguel. And of course, Santa Rosa de Lima is hotter than, uh, than, la, than, than San Miguel. <clears throat> mm -hmm. Okay. I, I prefer to... to, to... Teacher, I prefer to live in Los Naranjos on Sonate. Oh, of I've never Ana. been there. Even though Santa Ana, mm -hmm. yeah. Even Bless though you. Santa Ana is so, it's more or less cold. But, oh. and this season is so hot. Yeah. Oh, I've I never been to Los Naranjos, but I heard it's a very beautiful it's place, so, Los Naranjos. Mm -hmm. yeah, the only so place that I know is Puerto the, Espelo, night, Puerto Espelo, I guess is the name. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. At night, the, the, good evening, the, uh, good evening everyone. Say, everyone. Mm -hmm. Okay, so I can see that almost at everyone night is... in, in Los Naranjos. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Sorry, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. continue. Mm -hmm. Sorry, at, at night in Los Naranjos, uh, the, the cold down, uh, 13 or 12 Celsius. Wow, wow, that's that's very it's cold. So nice, it's so nice, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, yes. Uh, well, yeah. Hopefully, in, a in the next coming weeks, we're going to be in winter. Yay, winter. All right. And then we're going to have a lot of water. And then we're going to be complaining because our our clothing, our, uh, our clothes is wet. Está todo mojado. And then you go outside. You forgot your umbrella. And you're, oh, my gosh. I wish I were in summer. And then you get to summer yeah. and say, oh, it's very hot. You know, this is like a cycle, this is like a cycle or a circle. And when we're in summer, we wish we would be in winter. When we're in winter, we wish we were in summer. And it's like this. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Okay. Welcome, everyone. Welcome, Reina. Welcome, Luis, Marilyn, Carlos Jose, Stephanie Arias, Liliana, Claudia Linares, Maria Correa, uh, Marcelo Chacon. Welcome, Rosa Lopez. Well, I guess we are ready. Uh, we are ready to start our class today. So welcome, Ricardo Mancilla. Okay, uh, como he mencionado, hoy es el último día de la clase, último día de, de, del curso. So I want to say thank you. But before I say thank you, uh, we need to continue today. And the main topic for today is reviewing. We are going to review. Okay, we are going to review. Let me share my presentation. Teacher, teacher. Uh, today I ask you a, 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 ask you a, a song one about the message I received uh, yesterday about the enrolled course of people are working. Uh -huh, uh -huh. Only for people working, but people don't work, don't working there are not messages allowed mm -hmm. yeah yeah oh but oh, okay okay so maybe that can be extra information right uh, because i know like i know some uh some participants who are not working uh, mm -hmm. and they they take the i'm course. worried I, i'm uh, i'm worried por, porque yo no estoy Empleado, soy no cotizante bajo, uh, no, 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 soy no cotizante I don't, mm -hmm. la, la beca mm -hmm pero no hay mensaje todavía. A veces, una semana antes de, de terminar el curso, mandan, envíen los documentos o algo. Yo correcto, no. correcto. So, let's wait. Uh, posiblemente hoy, mañana pasado, estén recibiendo los documentos para poder inscribirse. I hope so. Uh -huh. Ya. Yeah. No. Ok. So, uh, um, this is uh, the topic for today. It's course review. We're going to be reviewing uh, the different topics. Not all the topics, okay? Not all the topics because we had a lot of topics and one hour is not enough to review. So I chose the topics that I considered needed more, more review, okay? Uh, the objective is at the end of this class, participants will review the main topics covered in this second intermediate level, all right? Yesterday, we talked about personality traits. ¿Se acuerdan? 
personality traits. Okay, go to the chat, tell me, and go to the chat and tell me what personality traits you remember. Okay, go to the chat and tell me what personality traits you remember. Okay, let me see the chat. Vamos a ver qué personality traits, ¿se acuerdan de qué personal, personality traits? Oh, generous, okay, moody, intelligent, creative, persuading, okay, sociable, clever, shy, angry, I guess, delicate, uh -huh. nervous, creative, Patient, nice, 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 very nice. Brilliant, excelente. Selfish, kind, impatient, complex. Muy bien, complex. Mm -hmm. ¿Qué más? ¿Qué más? Oh, helpful, talkative. Hablador, ¿verdad? O hablante, a talkative. Mm -hmm. What else? Oh, patient. Adorable, mm -hmm. adorable, 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 mm -hmm. impatient, mm -hmm. patient. Mm -hmm. What else? Now, vamos a ver, ahora que ya se acordaron de los personality traits, answer the following question. What personality traits do you have? Answer that question. What? Personal traits do you have? Vamos a ver. Oh, Reina Triguero, optimistic, creative, generous, strict. Uh, Reina, el, la palabra estricta en, en inglés no lleva letra E, sino que comienza con la letra S. ¿Ok? Se pronuncia strict. Correctly. Yes. Yes. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. <laughs> Solo que a veces, como les mencionaba, ¿verdad? En, en español, digo, ajá, en español no hay ninguna palabra que comience con la letra S, solita. Siempre comienza con ES. Por ejemplo, español, escuela, escolar, uh, estricto. Pero en inglés no lleva letra E, sino que comienza con la letra S. Por ejemplo, school. Uh -huh. Ok, strict. Thank you, Reina. Ok, vamos a ver. Ok, Walter Ramos es I'm loyal, patient, curious, optimistic, generous, and an active person. Ok, Rosa López says I'm kind. Marcelo Chacón says I'm, cre I'm creative. I'm, an, I'm a creative person. In other hand, I'm a little disorganized with my stops. Is that true, Marcelo? Mar Marcelo? Sometimes. Sometimes? What about when, where, uh, when you have a lot of tasks? Sometimes, yeah. Do, so, when you have a lot of activities you know, to do? What do you do? When I get when I get a little task or when I got a lot of a lot of ideas, I always mm -hmm. like you know um, I have different books or resources. And sometimes you know it's kind of difficult to organize everything in order to find something that it's going to be um, meaningful or, or or you know or in a you know according to the perspective that I that I am looking for. Oh, okay, okay. So that means that you, uh, it takes you a lot of time to organize your ideas and organize everything. That's what you said, right? Yeah. Okay, okay, let me, yeah. Nice. Uh, uh, okay, uh, uh, as far as you do your work and then you do it and you present it and then you're fine, that's fine. Mm -hmm. yeah. Okay, uh, let me see. Lorena says, I'm impunctual, optimist, reliable, and generous, okay? Thank you. Vamos a ver, Joana. Joana says, 
I'm impatient, creative, and generous. All right. Okay. Okay. Good. Vamos a ver. Somebody else. Okay. Liliana Ramirez says, I'm organized, hardworking, an active person, something impatient. Sometimes impatient. Claudia, I'm very shy, creative, respectful, and generous. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, good. Thank you for your participation. Let's go with the next one. Okay, what are we going to do right now? Listen, right now, I would like you to think about we're going to play this game or this activity, and it's connect the letters to form a word. It says, how many words can you find? They must have three or more letters. ¿Qué palabras podemos encontrar acá? Podemos formar con utilizando las letras. Vamos a ver. Deme un ejemplo. Que tengan más de General. tres letras. ¿Ah? General. Oh. ¿En serio? ¿Lo puedo, ¿Puedo formar generous aquí utilizando estas palabras? No. Uh -huh. yes. yes, yes. I mean, we can, look, I can It's create generous. Ajá, G, E, N, ajá, G, N, otra E, G, N, ajá, G, N, Rose. Good, yes, yeah, sí. Ok, look. ¿Qué quiero que hagan ahorita? Quiero que me encuentre cuántas palabras ustedes puedan formar. Quiero que me formen palabras cuántas ustedes puedan en a piece of paper. Okay. En un pedazo de papel aparte. ¿Ok? Deben de tener okay. más de tres palabras. Ok. Ok. Ok, vamos a ver, vamos a ver, vamos a ver. Uh -huh. Va, siguen escribiendo, siguen escribiendo cuántas, cuántas palabras puedan formar. You can form using uh, the words that you see, I mean, not the words, but the letters that you see here in the crossword. Okay, keep working, keep working. Mm -hmm. Good. Yeah, teacher. Okay. Vamos a ver. Because of the time, I would like to hear what words do you have? ¿Qué palabras formaron? What, what words do you form? Can you tell me? Uh -huh. mm -hmm. Optimistic. Mm -hmm. Made hours. Okay. Okay. ¿Qué más? ¿Qué más? Game. Game. Uh -huh. Door. Top. Zero. No. Zero. Ok. Uh -huh. Zero. Zero. Time. Time. Laptop. Ok. Laptop. Uh -huh. Mother. Angry mother. I find hang up. Peace hang out. out. Ok. Yeah. Cool. Mm -hmm. I find rip. Nice. Oh, rip. Father. Mm -hmm. Father. Mm -hmm. Three. I find calc. two. Three. Two. Uh, nose. Nose. Aunt. 
Now. Mother. 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 Maid. Uh -huh. Can. Can. Door. Door. Thought. 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 By thought. Oh, thought. Thought. Yeah, thought. Like I think. Street. I thought. Street. Mm -hmm. Okay, okay. All right. So I can see that you found a lot of what? A lot of words. And I be believe me, there were more. There were more. How? Okay. I want you to count them all. Quiero que las cuenten and tell me how many do you find? How many? Eight, teacher. Eight. Okay. Five. Five. Okay. Good, good. Mm -hmm. Six. Six. Chair. Good, good. ¿Cuántas palabras encontraron? O formaron. Uh -huh. Okay. All right. So let's move on. And yesterday, um, Walter, you had a question, right? Remember yesterday? Do you remember your question? Walter? Is that Walter? Yeah, Walter? teacher. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yes. Uh, okay. Yes, okay. Um, I remember you were asking, like, the, what is the order of adjectives? And this is the order of adjectives. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. So we start with quantity uh, and then quality. Okay. Teacher, um, when say, mm -hmm. when say pair, when say pair uh, uh, adjective, I need to use a comma or no comma? Yes, comma. So for example, ah, okay. so if you have uh, adjectives, well, no, 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 no. When you are using yeah. a list, when you are using a list of uh -huh. nouns, you can use commas. When you use adjectives, no, no commas. Okay, no commas. Okay, okay, okay. okay. Listen, uh, if you look at the internet, you might find a very, a very variation in number two. Because sometimes with number two, people say instead of quality, people say opinion, but it's the same thing. Por ejemplo, si te dice quality, yeah. algo que es una quality puede ser, puede ser algo que es uh, delicious. ¿Cuál es la cualidad? Que es delicioso. ¿Cuál yeah. es la opinión? Que es delicioso. Uh -huh. So it's the same. Puede ser que, por ejemplo, aquí look. Look, in this case. Opinion. El opinion es el mismo con quality. ¿Ok? ¿Cuál es la cualidad? Que es lovely. ¿Cuál es la cualidad? Que es delicious. ¿Ok? Alright. So look. And then you have size, shapes. Ok. I, I would like to mention this one because lo mismo happen here. The same happens right here. Sometimes lo puede encontrar aquí. Aquí. H here and shapes there. Sometimes, not all the time, right? And there is not a is not a huge problem. It's just a simple change. Okay. So remember, uh, quality lo pueden encontrar como opinion. Okay, opinion. Teacher, teacher, but it's so difficult to remember about the the the, the order. About well, the, I'm going to show when, you. Uh, <laughs> I don't know. Okay, uh, let me show. You. I'm going to yeah. show you a good way, a good way that you cannot yeah. forget. Okay, listen. También. Yeah, I I think I I never have have a, a a list of adjectives when you're talking with someone. Yeah, uh, we don't. Uh, the thing is, like, we don't provide when we are describing one item. We don't usually uh, provide yeah. more than one, two, three, four, five adjectives. We only use one. For example, we can say yeah. beautiful house. We don't say, we don't say yeah. beautiful black house, right? Or we don't say beautiful black Chinese house. Or we don't say beautiful yeah. black Chinese wood uh, house. See, no decimos tomo. Blah blah blah. We just yeah. use one. Oh, this is a this is a Chinese house. This is a what a Salvadorian house. 
Solo utilizamos un adjetivo. Uh -huh. ¿Ok? Listen, con nation nationality también ustedes lo pueden encontrar como origin, o origen. Origin. ¿Ok? O de dónde es. ¿Ok? Origin. Origin. Pueden encontrar nationality with origin. Pero entonces, ¿cómo podemos recordarnos cuál es el orden? Simply, les voy a dar la clave ahorita, Luke, para que se acuerden eh, más adelante cuál es el orden de los verbos. Solo acuérdense de esta, de este sí, uh, acrónimo, acrónimo, which is this one. Uh -huh. Solo imagínense que están escribiendo una página. Y that would be nosas.com. ¿Sí? Nosas.com. Yeah. Think about it. <ríe> y ahí está. Ahí se van a acordar cuál es el orden. Nosas.com. ¿Ok? ¿Sí? Nasa. Porque also a uh, quantity puede ser número. It would be few, many, one. Opinion, delicious, lovely, horrid. Size, large, small, tiny, and so on. Con solo que se acuerden con nosas.com, ya se van a acordar cuál es el orden de los adjetivos. La N se refiere a number, O, opinion, S, size, H, I mean A, H, S, shape, C, color, O, origin, N, M, material. Ok, ese es el orden de los, de los adjetivos en inglés. Pero como les decía anteriormente, ¿verdad? Usualmente, o bien nos quedamos, look, the two cats walked, o the two small walk, cats walked across the street. Pero nunca decimos, mm -hmm. the two small, young, white cats walked across the street. ¿Ok? Look at the other example. Okay. The short Japanese man was waiting for the bus. No decimos, por ejemplo, the handsome, I always say the handsome, short Japanese man was waiting yeah. for the bus. Okay? Solo utilizamos un adjetivo. All right? Yeah. Okay. So, yeah. uh, si ustedes necesitan esta presentación, I can share it with you so that you can have it. All right? All right. Please, teacher. Good. Please. Okay, let's go to the topics, the different topics. Remember, yesterday we were talking about how to give reasons, okay? Mm -hmm. Yes, yes, I can, I can share that, Joanna. Lo puedo compartir con ustedes esta presentación para que les quede ahí. All right, solo que recuerden mañana en la mañanita, because sometimes I forget it. <laughs> I forget it. All right, so um, remember... When we are using, uh, when, we pro when we use because, is because we are basically introducing, introducing what? We are introducing a reason. Okay, la razón por qué. Okay, look, for example, I make a good journalist because, ¿cuál es la, cuál es la razón? Oh, because I'm good at writing. Okay? Mm -hmm. I could be a teacher. ¿Por qué? Good at writing. Because I'm very creative. So that means that, oh, yeah, puede ser creative. un maestro. ¿Por qué? Because, oh, because I'm very creative. Yeah, because I'm very patient. Because I love working with kids. Because I'm a good listener, etc. Okay? Look at the other one. I wouldn't want to be a teacher because I'm very impatient. ¿Quiénes son impacientes aquí en el grupo? Vamos a ver. Who are impatient in the group? Who? I am. Sometimes. I am. Okay, sometimes. Okay, good. Okay, I could never be a stockbroker because I cannot make uh, decisions very quickly. All right, good. Vaya, ahora, si ven acá, tengo cuatro, in, uh, four starting sentences. I would like you to choose one. Pueden escoger esta. You can choose this one. You can choose this other one. Or you can choose this one. And, por ejemplo, ustedes me pueden decir, I could never be a, 
y en esta parte me colocan una profesión. ¿Ok? Por ejemplo, I could never be a pilot because I am afraid of planes, por ejemplo. ¿Ok? Quiero que escojan una con una profesión y me hagan la oración que se pegue con ustedes. All right? Por ejemplo, look, this one. Vamos a hacer esta. The best okay. job for me is... Vamos a ver. Oh, to be a teacher because I love teaching. See? That could be one. Or, or, you can, or you can tell me, I will make a good, um, vamos a ver, I will make a good teacher because I'm very patient. Ok, escojan una por favor y me la escriben en el chat. Ok, eso lo vimos ayer, remember? Utilicen una, ocupen una profesión, ya sea que les gustaría o que no les gustaría hacer, y me escriben la oración. Ok. Vamos a ver, voy a esperar las oraciones aquí en el chat. Uh -huh. I could never be a doctor, podría ser. <ríe> I wouldn't mind working as a doctor. I don't know. Tell me. Mm -hmm. Are you ready? ¿Están listos? Oh, okay. Tengo la primera respuesta. Vamos a ver. Lorena, the best job for me is to be a psychologist, a psychologist, mm -hmm. because I'm good listening. Good, good job, Lorena. Thank you. Thank you so much. Vamos a ver, vamos a ver aquí las oraciones. Aquí están cayendo las oraciones. Um, Walter Ramos. I wouldn't mind working as a bus cleaner because It doesn't matter that you, what you are doing. The important thing is the money. Okay. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Walter. Liliana, I would want to be an accountant, accountant, because, wait, 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 wait. Wait, Liliana, ¿le gustaría ser un contador o no le gustaría ser un contador? <laughs> ¿Cómo es allí, Liliana? ¿Me podría explicar? Liliana Ramírez. I work as negative. Oh, okay. Si es negative, that would be I wouldn't want. I wouldn't want to be an accountant okay. because okay. I'm very stressful. Okay, Carlos José. Uh, vamos a ver, Carlos José. I could never be a seller because I'm not good at expressing myself. Okay, so you are an introverted person probably. I don't know. Stephanie Arias. I wouldn't mind working as a vet because I love animals. Okay, good example, Stephanie. Let's see, Marcelo. I can never be a lawyer because I don't like to lose. <laughs> Are you a competitive person, Marcelo? Yes, Marcelo? I, I could see. Yeah, I mean, oh, yeah, I'm here. How, okay, how competitive you are, tell me. Uh, for example, um, because, well, well Sometimes I remember when I was a child, I used to uh, to win any discussions with my partners. I always <laughs> like to say, "Okay, I, I'm right, you're not." And, oh, and obviously, <laughs> the only way, the only way to accept that is it's when somebody is gonna tell me with books something that is um, well descri describing uh, describing something or uh, proving me uh, their point of view related with someone else that's why i prefer people who are able to handle different point of views in order to uh to find a balance in different in, in, in different arguments and to okay. find solutions <laughs> oh yeah that, that's true okay yeah. yeah okay yeah yeah okay i can see that you are very competitive that's good okay that's good okay thank you for sharing your thoughts 
All right, what about Marilyn? Uh, Marilyn Ramirez says, I could never be a presenter because I don't like to speak in public. Okay. <laughs> oh, me neither. Okay. Uh, if I told you one of my experiences, you would laugh at me. Se reirían de mí si, if I tell you. Si les contara what happened to me once. Oh my gosh. Okay, uh, Joana Selina de Vanegas. Let me see. I could never be an engineer. Mm -hmm. yeah. so, I remember once, you know, when you are in the school, La maestra, okay, you are going to, especially for Independence Day. Uh, I don't know if you had a good experience or bad experience with Independence Day. When you go in front and then you say, uh, this symbol means, and you say, oh, the flag means this, the shield means this. Do you remember? Mm -hmm. So I had to speak about mm -hmm. a Gorro Frigio. I guess that's the name, right? Gorro Frigio. Is that the name? <laughs> right? Or no? Uh, no. no. Huh? Yes. Okay, so yes, I went yeah. to I went to the, in front of everyone in the school. I went in front, I got the microphone, and they said the gorrofrigio, and then I said nothing else. So I forgot everything. <laughs> I was I don't remember. I was like, I guess I was let me see, 10 years old, nine years old. I don't remember. And then I said nothing, so I decided to go down the stage. And then my, my teacher was waiting for me, and she and she told me, no, 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 go, 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 go. So I went, <laughs> I went to the top of the stage again. And then I just said the Gorro Fijo, and then nothing came to my mind. So I was like, uh-oh, what can I do? What can I do? So I said nothing. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah, so that I, I didn't have a good experience. But now I'm a teacher. See? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> so there are just some things that doesn't match. Mm -hmm. Okay. Let me see another example right here. Osmel. It says, I could never be a teacher because I can't explain. Okay. Vamos a ver. Uh, Joanna says, I could never be an engineer because I'm bad at math. Okay. What about Reina Triguero? Reina Triguero says, let me see, Reina Triguero. Uh, déjame leer su oración, Reina. Okay, let me see. Reina, Reina, Reina. Okay. Reina Triguero says, I could never be a mechanic. Uh -huh. Because I don't like getting fat. Wait, ¿cómo, ¿cómo así? ¿No le gusta engordarse? ¿O cómo, cómo así, Reina Triguero? No le gusta ser... Nunca podría ser un mecánico porque no le gusta engordarse. Is that what you meant? No. Reina? I think engrasarse. Oh, okay. I, I see. I see what you're saying. Probably it's a. Uh, you can say uh, getting dirty. Okay, ensuciarse. Yeah, getting dirty. Mm -hmm. Getting dirty. Mm -hmm. Okay. I don't like getting dirty, even though I like cars. Okay, good, Reina. Uh, let's see, Eneida Gonzalez. I could never be a chef because I can't cook. Okay. <laughs> Rosa Lopez, <laughs> I wouldn't mind working as a flight attendant because I'm afraid of heights. I wouldn't, I wouldn't mind working as a flight attendant. Okay, look, look, Rosa Lopez, cuando nosotros decimos, I wouldn't mind working, lo que queremos, lo que queremos decir es lo opuesto. ¿Ok? Significa que, ah, no me importaría trabajar okay. como, una, como una, ¿qué? Como una azafata. ¿Ok? Eso es lo que me quiere decir. Que no le importaría trabajar como uh -huh. una fly attendant. ¿Por qué? Porque le tiene miedo a la no, no. Es lo opuesto, ¿ok? Si usted dice, I wouldn't mind working, significa que sí lo puede hacer. <ríe> es un poco confuso, ¿no? Uh -huh. Ajá. Uh -huh. Por ejemplo, si usted dijera, I would mind working as a flight attendant because I'm afraid of heights. Pero si usted me dice, I wouldn't mind, me está diciendo, no le importaría trabajar como una flight attendant. No le importaría. Uh -huh. O sea, que sí lo puede hacer. Uh -huh. um, okay. Okay. <laughs> no sé si está claro eso, Rosa. Uh -huh. Ok. Sí. Yes. Ok, por ejemplo, It's in my clear. case, ok, I wouldn't mind, in my case, I wouldn't mind working as a teacher Why? Oh, because I'm very patient. See, I wouldn't mind. I wouldn't have any problem. I would do it without no problem. See, 
Pero si yo digo, ah, I would mind working as a teacher. Why? You know what? I'm very impatient. I would mind. Me importaría. Uh -huh. Pero si digo, you know what? I wouldn't mind. I don't have any problem. Ok. Vamos a ver, Claudia Linares, I could never be a crime scene cleaner <laughs> because I would be traumatized every day. Oh, mm -hmm. como un forense, right? Cristóbal Molina, I could never be a teacher because I can't be patient with people. And Marilyn, I would make a good teacher because I like to, I like to explain. Okay, good example. Let's move on to the next one. Okay. Remember, during this course, we were learning the two part verbs. Do you remember that? Yeah. Clean up, hang Person up, part. pick up, put away, take out, throw out, turn off, and turn off. Right? ¿Se acuerdan de eso? Okay. So tell me, yeah. tell me what can you clean up based on the given words that you have over there? Clean up. Clean up what? Clean up clean the up mess. The, uh, clean up the the, uh, the carpet. Okay, clean, clean up the up carpet. carpet up, carpet up. Mm -hmm. What about hang up? What can you hang up? Uh, hang up. Uh -huh. Hang up what? Your coat. Uh -huh. Hang up your coat. A jacket. A jacket. Hang up your jacket. Uh -huh. Hang up your jacket. What else? <laughs> yes, hang up your towels. What about pick up? Pick up. Pick up the garbage. Pick up the garbage. Pick up the toys. Pick up what? The magazines. Okay, pick up the magazines. Okay, good. What about put away? Put away. Put away. Put away. Put away. Put away your shoes. The, the magazines or oh, magazines. put away the magazine. ¿Qué significa put away? Guardar. Guardar. Yes, put away the magazine. Good. What about take out? Take out. Take out the garbage. Take, take out the garbage. Take out the... Good. Good. What about throw out? Throw out. Tirar. Hmm? Fuera. Como tirar algo afuera. Throw the yes. cat. Sacar afuera, <laughs> botar afuera, ah. tirar afuera. Throw out the yes. cat. Okay. Throw out the cat. <laughs> okay, <laughs> how about turn off? Turn off the TV. Turn off the TV. The turn off the microwave. <laughs> turn off the lights. Turn off the cell phone, etc. How about turn on it? Mm -hmm. Turn on the TV. Okay, good. Picture. All right. Could, could be turn on, on, on the, the car. Music. Turn on the music. Yes. Turn on the music as too. Or turn down the music. Or turn. Okay. Yes. Or turn yeah. up. Okay. Good. All right. Also, remember that we cover um this situation to like how to uh, request any polite or if you want to make any polite request remember that we have different categories for example for example if we have can and could when we have can and could we use that to request or to to polite to make any polite request is because we use that especially when we ask a request to a person that we know to a person that we trust mm -hmm. okay for example your brother your mother, your daddy, or your co-workers, your friends. So you can say, for example, can you open the door, please? Yes. Can you open the door, please? Okay. Can you open the door? Why are you using can or could? It's because you know the person very well. Okay. What about the next? Would you mind? When you use would you mind, that is very, very polite. Especially if you, let's say you are in San Salvador Center, a downtown center, and you don't know where the main theater is. No saben dónde es el main theater in San Salvador. And you ask to a person that you don't know. Excuse me, would you mind telling me where the main theater is? See, would you mind telling me? Why are you using would you mind? 
is because you are very polite. Okay? Very polite. And don't forget this one. Cada vez que utilizamos, would you mind? El verbo va a ir en qué? Gerund. Okay, don't forget that, please. Do not forget that. Would you mind closing? Would you mind turning? Would you mind? Would you mind opening? Would you mind telling me? Would you mind? After would you mind? You need ing verb. Okay, please. Right now, can pueden abrir su microphone and tell me either the sea una oración con Ken, una oración would you mind, or una oración would you please. Okay, open your microphone, please, now, and tell me a sentence. Would you mind passing me the salt? Ah, okay, please. good. Good, thank you. Uh -huh. Otra oración. Would you mind? Would you mind lending me money? Oh, okay. Would you mind lending me money? Mm -hmm. Excelente. Another example, please. Could you speak slow? Could you speak slow? Okay, good. Could you speak slow? Mm -hmm. Good. What else? No tengan pena de participar, okay? Could you tell me how getting there or how get there? Please? Can you tell me how to get there? Uh huh. Can you tell me how to get there? Yeah. Good. Mm -hmm. ¿Qué más? ¿Qué más? Would you mind turning yes, the TV? Okay. Me lo puede repetir una vez más, por favor, Liliana Ramírez. Mm -hmm. Would you mind turning the the TV? Oh, okay, would you mind turning the TV? Thank you. Turning on or turning off? Turning on. Okay, turning on. Thank you. Uh, alguien más? Mm -hmm. Thank you. Thank you, Liliana. Mm -hmm. Can you take out uh, the, the cat, please? Okay, <laughs> I can take it out. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Joanna. Thank you. Someone else? Can you ask? Would you mind filling up uh, this form? Okay, do you mind filling up this form? Uh -huh. Good. Uh -huh. Thank you, Marcelo. Alguien más? Somebody else? Anybody else? Uh, would you mind washing my car? Okay, would you mind washing my car? Okay, uh huh. Uh huh. Good. What, what, what? what mind... it... Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. <laughs> uh -huh. Would you please uh, clean my house? <laughs> Would you please clean my house? Oh, no, I don't want to. <laughs> okay, would you mind, would you, I mean, would you please, uh, would you please clean up my house? Okay, good. One more, una, una, una oración, una oración más, one more. Anyone else? Okay. If there is nobody else, that's fine. Uh, vamos a mover al siguiente topic. Recuerden, estamos reviewing. Okay. Remember the last time we were uh, working with conditionals, right? Yeah. Okay. If something, something else will happen. This is the first conditional. And the good thing is, with the first conditional, you need what? Very simple. Do not forget this one. Every time... Okay, every time you see the if, okay, this part, this part will be present, okay? And this part will be what? ¿Qué tiempo verbal sería? Um, present. Present. Present? ¿Estás seguro que es present? Future. Future. Oh, yeah, yeah, sorry. Yeah, yes. look, look. I'm wrong. I'm wrong. Have, yeah, future. Uh, will be able, won't yeah. save. You may need, well, this is kind of the future because the context might tell you this kind of thing. If you don't save your money, you may need another job. 
Ok, en otras palabras le está diciendo en futuro, solo que no le dice, you will, you will need another job. Ok, ok, do not forget that one, please. Si tenemos pasado, I mean, presente here, you will need the future over there. Remember, this is the first conditional. We have the second conditional, we have the zero conditional, but that's another topic, ok. Every time we have the first conditional, we will have present, either positive or negative, and the same happen here, future, either positive or negative. Look at the example. If you get a high paying job, you'll have more cash to spend. Okay, answer the following question. Mm -hmm. Or complete the following sentence. Okay. Okay, let me see if you have right now. Okay, complete the sentence. If you have 1,000 right now, uh -huh, complete the sentence. What will you happen? Can buy, uh -huh. You can buy a phone. Who is speaking? ¿Quién está hablando? Who is speaking? Oh, it's Matt. Oh, it's Matt. Okay, good, good, good. Okay, okay. If you have $1,000 right now, you will, you will what? Can you say that one more time, Ms. Matt? You will buy a, a phone. Okay, you will buy a phone. Good. Uh -huh. if, if, if you have, uh, let me read, let me read here. I will save it. Okay, I will save it. Okay, Lorena. Uh, okay, Ramos, if you have 1,000 right now, I will pay my credit card. Okay, Claudia Linares, I will buy a computer. I will buy anything I want. Stephanie Arias, good. Good. Mm -hmm. Very good. Okay, okay, all right, one more. Okay, listen, ayúdenme acá, por favor, aquí. This is the possible situation, and these are the consequences. Vamos a, okay, I can see the chat, vamos a ver el chat. You will spend it in an important, in important things, okay. If I fall in love, ¿qué pasará si yo, uh, if I fall in love? ¿Cuál de todas pegaría? Which one? Get married. Oh, if I fall in love, vamos a ver, vamos a ver. Get married. Yes. If I fall in love, I will get married. Get married. Okay, good. Okay, continue. Escojan una, por favor. Si quieren escribir, por ejemplo, puede ser join a gym, or it might be get a part-time job, or it can be move to a foreign country, or study very hard. Cuando lo tengan, uh, choose one. Escojan uno. Y después, the possible situation, you're going to choose the consequence. Y van a escribir una oración con, um, con el primero condicional. Okay, um, okay, you can type your sentence here in the chat. Escojan una posible, a possible situation, <laughs> una posible <laughs> situación, <laughs> a possible situation, and then choose a consequence according to your possible situation. Vamos a ver en el chat. Mm -hmm. If you, Marcelo, okay. If you study hard, you will improve your grades. Good example. Mm -hmm. Improve your grades. Okay, vamos a ver. Claudia Linares. If I join a gym, I'll get in shape. Okay. Una pequeña observación. Vale, y aquí lo voy a llevar, miren. Ok, look, vamos atrás aquí, vamos a ver, vamos a ver. Ok, disculpen que les lo vuelvo atrás. Look, cada vez que comenzamos, every time we start with the if, look, miren lo que hay acá. ¿Qué? ¿Pueden ver qué es lo que hay ahí? ¿Qué hay ahí? Ah. 
Oh, video. Ahí hay una Rama. coma, hay una coma ahí. Entonces, en las oraciones de ustedes, si ustedes comienzan con el if, do not forget that you need a coma. ¿Ok? Oh, thanks. Ok, vamos de regreso para los que estaban trabajando. Ok, ok. Uh -huh. Para los que estaban trabajando ahí, vamos a ver ahorita. If you move to a foreign country, coma, you will need to pay rent. Ajá. Cristóbal Molina. If you join to a gym, uh, remember Cristóbal, coma, you will be in shape. Ok, Reina Triguero. Mm, me tiene que utilizar el if, Reina. No solamente get a part-time job and then earn your own spending money. Ok, tiene que escribirme como if I... Ok, vamos a ver, Stephanie. Uh, if you move to a foreign, foreign country, I believe, you will experience different culture shock. Yes, mm -hmm. that's very true. Mm -hmm. Ok, vamos a ver. ¿Quiénes todavía están escribiendo oraciones? Oh, Lorena, did you finish your, Lorena? Yes? Yeah. Ok. Oh, if I study very hard, I will, I will earn too much money. Okay. Liliana. Okay. If you study very hard, you will improve your grades. Yes. Marcelo, if you move to a foreign country, comma, you will send us money. <laughs> yes, that's true. That's very true. <laughs> Eso es verdad. Yeah. Eso es verdad. Mm -hmm. And you know, it's kind of, uh, I mean, um, that meme on Facebook is very true, especially if you have family in the United States and you say, hey, how are you? How are you? They believe that you are contacting them or you are saying or you're asking how they are because you, you want them to send you some money. And that's not true. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> sí o no, verdad que eso pasa, verdad? Yeah, yeah. For example, a yeah, for example, this afternoon happened something similar to me, and I was like, no, I don't, I don't. I mean, I, I, don't, I mean, of course, I want money, right? But I was not asking for money. <laughs> uh huh. <laughs> All right. Okay. Okay. Let me see, Marcelo. Okay. Okay. Good. Okay. I'm going to stop right here. Um, I know we didn't finish uh, all the activities that I have prepared for for you today bless you bless you Lorena bless you. okay so I want to say thank you uh thank you so much thank you thank you for your hard work I I don't know but um I can see that you are very very hard working student so please do not give up and I hope to I hope you enroll in the next um level level number three which is going to be intermediate three so I hope you can uh, join the group I don't know if I'm going to be teaching the same group. I don't know. But if I'm teaching, I hope to see you next. Uh, when is it going to start, by the way? Next week? I don't know. Okay. Who knows? But just in case, because, for example, many of you were my student last course, and you are my student now. Yeah. So I hope, um, uh, I hope, I hope next course you can be my student. So in that way, we can work much better. So thank you, thank you everyone. I'm very, very proud of all of you because I can see that you know what you're doing here. I know that you are not wasting your time. You are here because you want to learn and that's something that I very, very value from uh, my students. So thank you so much. You are very, um, very smart students. So do not change. And okay, let me see Rene Triguero. If you get a part-time job, Possibly <laughs> earn your own spending money. Okay. Yes. Okay. If you get a, a part-time job. Okay. Thank you. Thank you, Reina. Thank you, everyone. So have a wonderful night. Likewise, teacher. Okay. Thank you. I hope to see you thank around. You, mm -hmm. Okay. Thank okay. You. So thank you, everyone. Thank you. Thank you for your hard work. Have a wonderful you, night. Okay. Nos vemos pronto. Thank you, everybody. Bye. Nice to bye. meet you. Bye. Nice to meet you. Nice bye. to meet you. Bye-bye.